in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to install Scarlet on your iPhone or any other iOS device. Scarlet is a third party app store that allows you to sideload your apps on your iOS device. If you head over to this website here, which I will be leaving a link in the description for, you can see the features of Scarlet here if you scroll down. So you can see jail tweak injection, IPA sideloading, app management, repo system, and everything else over here. And what you guys can do is simply just install it. So to install, what you're going to need to do is just scroll all the way down to the bottom right over here. You can see it is signed currently. So you can just click install here. And so the method that I'm showing you guys right now is by computer. So simply just click on computer over here. And as you can see, there are no revokes if it is by computer. If you do do the computer method, which is nice as well. So once you do click it, you will get a countdown. So just click on this and you'll see a 10 second countdown. So just wait for the countdown to be done. And so now what you guys are going to do is you'll be redirected to a GitHub link. So scroll down and you can see here everything that you need for the setup. So since I'm on Windows, I'm going to need to install iTunes and install iCloud. So I can just click install iTunes over here. And what I can do is simply just click download on iTunes here. And so once it downloads, just click on the iTunes setup here. And obviously you'll see this Windows installer and click next here. And then everything is already set here. So just click install. You'll get a user account control prompt. Click yes. And this does take quite some time. So make sure that you guys do wait. And you'll get another user account control prompt. So click yes. And then it'll say validating install and everything here. And then just click finish here. And make sure that you do connect your device at this point. And once iTunes does open, what you guys want to do is simply just click on iTunes here, click don't download. And then what you guys want to do is just sign into the iTunes store. So you should automatically be prompted to this. So I'll be back when I sign in. And also once you do sign in, make sure that it is the same as the one on your iDevice. And so now that I've done this, what I'm going to do is simply just click on account at the top over here, click authorizations, and then click authorize this computer right here. It'll prompt you to enter in your Apple ID and password again. So I'll do that really quickly. And then you'll see this pop up. It'll be a little different because I've already authorized my computer and a lot of you guys probably haven't. So you will see something saying. Your computer has been authorized one out of five so i've already done all this so i can just go back here and now what we're gonna do is go back to the github link and we're gonna install icloud as well and once it installs just click on icloud setup here and click i accept the terms in the license agreement so click install and you'll get another user account control prompt. So click yes. You'll get another user account control prompt after a while. So click yes. And then you'll see welcome to iCloud. Click finish. And you'll see this message. You must restart your system for the configuration changes made to iCloud to take effect. So I will be back after I do restart and restarting is very important, especially for installing Scarlet. So don't skip out on this process. So yeah, I'll be back. And once your computer does eventually restart, you will automatically get the iCloud pop up. But if you guys don't see it, all you need to do is just click on show hidden icons, this upwards arrow, click on iCloud here and then click sign in. It leads to the same page. And so obviously I'm just going to sign in really quickly and you'll see this over here. iCloud drive, photos, mail, contact, everything here. So we can just click close here and just click yes and now we're just going to go back to the github website here and then you'll see releases right over here so click on releases and what we're going to do is scroll down to assets over here so we're just going to extend this and what we're going to do is click on scarlet cloud ux 
dash windows dash 386.exe so just click download here and it should be downloading in the top right and what we're gonna do is open our file explorer we're gonna go to download and we're just going to right click on the actual scarlet download and click run as administrator and then you're getting another user account control prompt so click yes and while you do give administrator permission you may get some firewall pop-ups so make sure that you either add scarlet as an exception to your firewall or what you guys can do is simply just turn off your firewall for the duration that you're going to use scarlet for which i would recommend and what we also want to do is make sure that your iphone and your computer are also on the same network and by this time your device should be connected and what we're gonna do here is just click on scarlet cloud here and we're gonna see select device and then obviously there's only one device selected i'm just gonna click on this and you can move this to the side and you can see everything here i'm just gonna click install scarlet here and then you'll need to enter in your email and password so obviously you can just enter in the same email as your iphone so i'm just going to do that really quickly and one thing i do want to note is that if you have alt store and you use your same email that you used alt store with then this will not work so make sure that you guys do use a different email or either just completely remove alt store because they will interfere with one another so for this time I'm just going to use a different email address. And so now you can see that it has worked because I deleted alt store for this to work. But if you guys do use a different email, then the result will be the same as long as it is not the same one that alt store has already used. So what you guys are going to do now is just switch over to your device and you should see scarlet downloaded on your iOS device. But there are still a few things that you guys need to do. So the first thing that we're going to do is make sure that developer mode is turned on. So just go to your settings and we're just going to scroll back here and look for privacy and security here. We're going to scroll all the way down until we see developer mode here. And so for me, it is on so I don't have to do anything. But for you guys, you guys will have to restart your device. Click restart and obviously it should work from there. And another thing that you guys need to do is go back to general and scroll to VPN and device management. And then you'll see the email here. So just click on the email and then click trust. And so now that I've trusted it, you can see that Scarlet will open up and everything's perfect and it will ask for notifications. So you guys can set this up if you guys do want to be notified about any revokes. So I would just click allow and you can just simply do anything now so you can download jailbreaks here and obviously this is the same as alt store so you'll need to connect your device every time you're trying to download something and it's kind of like an app store where you can download anything and unlike alt store where you need to get the ipa and then import it everything is already here you just need to connect your computer and there are no revokes as well so i would recommend using scarlet instead of alt store since it is a bit better but both are pretty good and uh, yeah if you guys do want to see more scarlet videos make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below i'll be making more similar ios and iphone videos in general thanks for watching